All right, hello everybody. I hope you are having a good night tonight as we begin bracket play here in the first SPL qualification tournament. This point moving forward, if a team loses, they are eliminated from the tournament as the top four teams uh, who survive through the bracket stage will be qualifying for pro spots and of course, with every win that you get at this point, you're earning more and more points towards that leaderboard standing, which could come in handy if you do miss out on the pro spots. So, with that being said, let us take a look at the two teams playing here tonight as we have the Portland Porcupines going up against the Oklahoma Exotics to start off this one. For the Portland Porcupines, they have Blake, Jack, Ocho, and Timmy. A team full of people, or almost a team full of people, naming themselves off their real names, unless Ocho is actually just named Ocho in real life, which would be interesting. As for the Oklahoma Exotics, they have Booyah, Curtis, Dolan, and Marks. It should be a pretty even matchup, in my opinion, at least. You know, two teams who I think are very close in skill level. So it should be a very interesting one. I would not be surprised if all if uh, this series goes to all three games because, again, this is a best of three. So, and it will be throughout the rest of the bracket as we go through all of our games here. Let's also take a look at this part of the bracket. So as you can see, the Portland Porcupines going up against the Exotics are right there. They will be playing the winners of the Penguins versus the Terror in the second round. And if they can survive that, they'll move on to the third round to face one of Minutemen, Outlaws, Storm, or Tadpoles. And whoever wins that one will qualify for one of the four pro spots up for grabs. So... There's still a bit of a journey left for these teams. You know, you got to win three more matches if you want a pro spot. Can any of them, or it'll be interesting to see who of these teams will be able to come away with that spot. One of them will. That's just kind of how this tournament works. Anyways, still waiting on some players to get into the lobby here, mainly Portland. Let me actually message... Oh, never mind. Portland players are pulling in. I was, I was a bit worried because Ocho's on Do Not Disturb, and he never replied. Oh, but no, he did reply to me. Never mind, I'm dumb. They were just taking their time. I just waiting for everybody to fill in to their correct teams here. We wait to get this one started. Uh, to look at the predictions for this one, it looks like very much uh, in the exotics' favor. Like 300 to 1 channel points here. But there has been exactly one channel point bet on Portland. So we'll see if they can live up. Or if they can uh, pull off the upset, at least according to the chat. Again, I think these two teams are pretty evenly matched. So to be honest, if one of them wins, I really wouldn't consider it an upset. Anyways, we've got all six players in the lobby here now. We'll just get a couple of ready ups and then we will get going. All right. Both teams ready to go. I'm just going to ignore Jack. And let's get this one going. Portland in red, Oklahoma in blue. And if you want to keep track of where the series is, look at the top right corner of your screen. I decided to add that in to hopefully help people remember where we are in the series as Mark's 10 seconds in makes it. A one-goal game here for the Oklahoma Exotics with a shot from across the ice. 
just like that. The exotics are on the boards here. Marks gets them on the board and makes a good save on a shot there from Timmy to keep them in the lead here. One to nothing. In game number one of this, once again, best of three series is Dolan trying to fight for that puck here. Get it away from Jack. We'll get this puck for the exotics. Skating it around. We'll hand that one off to Marks. Marks trying to get it back up to Dolan. Timmy intercepts that pass. And now here from center ice with some nice moves. Takes that shot and Marks keeps it away from the net. Making the save. It looks like the exotics are going to be without Curtis. As Booyah will be in. I wonder, I don't know if this is their starting lineup or not. As Dolan with a beautiful shot there from the faceoff circle. Makes it a 2 to nothing game. Putting that one right in the top corner. Right past Jack, making it 2 to nothing as we are closing in on a minute into game number one. With Oklahoma up by two. Jack now, skating this puck around, going for the long shot. Mark sends it back. Now Jack again. Skating this one up, looking, trying to get that one over to Ocho. Instead, Dolan will get it two on one. Take that shot, and this time, Jack comes away with a good save. Now, Jack again with the puck here, just taking that shot. Marks now stops it. Timmy takes a shot there, and Jack gets it away from Dolan. Goes for another shot. This one stopped by Booyah. Timmy has a chance. Can't get that puck on his stick, though. Portland's still pressuring here. Jack setting up at the point. Gets it past Booyah. Has a chance. Takes that shot. Marks what a save. Timmy sends it right back. But just wide of the net. Portland still pressuring here. And Marks still holding down at the goal line. I do not know how the Exotics have not let in a goal yet here. As Jack just wide of the net there. But Portland again still keeping up this pressure. Getting some great pressure here for a team that's down by two. We've passed the three-minute mark here. Jack trying to find the pass to Timmy. Doesn't connect. Marks trying to dump that one away. Goes right to Ocho. Ocho shot tipped by Dolan and eventually stopped by Marks as Dolan dumps that puck away. And Oklahoma, especially with that mistake from Jack there, has some room to breathe. As Jack trying to take this puck up ice will lose it to Booyah. Timmy, though, will steal it back from behind Booyah. And now Timmy in the corner. Gets this pass out to Jack. Jack. One on one here of Booyah at center ice. We'll get this pass over to Ocho. Ocho will lose it to Marks. Marks will get it past Timmy and just dump that puck away. Zox gets some room here as Ocho get in that pass from Jack. Ocho and Dolan now fighting on the boards. Ocho comes away with it, skating this puck around, looking for an opportunity. Trying to get that pass to Timmy. It bounces off of Booyah's head, so it's not a clean pass as we have under two minutes left here in game number one. Booyah, good pass over to Dolan. Dolan can't maintain control of that puck. Timmy's taking that puck away, taking that shot, blocked by Dolan. Booyah from the boards, can't get that one on net. As Jack will take his turn with it, lose it on the boards. Booyah again, trying to get control of that puck. Jack keeps it away, skates it up, looks for a chance, can't get that one on net. Portland's still looking for their first goal here. Ocho can't get that shot off. Ocho now, just handing that one back to Jack. Jack skates it up, good shot, good stop by Booyah though. Now Booyah, some room to work with, finds a beautiful pass up to Dolan who takes his time, can't find Marks on the crossing pass though. Three on one, Timmy gets it back to Jack but that pass slow enough to let Booyah come up and make the defensive stop. And Portland again still looking for their first goal, two on one now and Timmy can't get to that pass from Ocho. As now Dolan takes control of that puck, takes that shot, good stop by Jack. And Portland still needs two goals to tie this one up here. They have 50 seconds to do it. Can they find the net? They've been finding plenty of shots, but none have been going past that goal line. As Jack now again trying to set up for Portland, skates it up, passes that one to Ocho. Ocho gets it towards the net, Marks gets in the way of it, takes the shot wide of the net. Jack again, 30 seconds left here, trying to get that pass up to Timmy. He gets tipped by Booyah. Booyah shot stopped by Jack. But this is wasting time for Portland here. Booyah trying to find that pass out, gets stopped. Now Dolan going to take that puck away from Ocho. Going to just try to walk that one in, and instead Booyah will be the one to walk it in. Three to nothing. Game number one here is going to go to Oklahoma. As with just incredible defense, they have kept this one a shutout.
and will be taking game number one. Beautifully done. We just wait for this one to finish here. No goals for Portland. Oklahoma takes the shutout three to nothing here in game number one. As they get ready for game number two. <laughs> I can spoil it when it's five seconds left and it's three to nothing. <laughs> Jack saying that they're going to have to go up against a Lemons team. Despite being readied up, Ocho says they aren't ready. I don't care. I'm assuming that they're ready. And here we go. <laughs> First game going to the Oklahoma Exotics. 3 to nothing. After, again, just an incredible defensive performance. There was like one straight minute of Portland just taking shots at the Exotics net. And they just kept coming away with saves. You'll see if Oklahoma can do it again here. Game number two, if they do, they take the series and will be moving on to the second round of the bracket to face the winner of the Penguins and the Terror. That's Timmy now. Center ice, that puck finding its way back to Jack. Jack taking that shot. Dolan, good stop. Now, Ocho trying to get that shot on net wide, though. That's Ocho getting that puck here for Portland. Going for the wraparound. Marks, good D, and Booyah sends it away. However, Portland gets another chance, and Marks... Are we back? It... Okay, we back. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I, I don't know what the fuck happened there. No, I, I knew... It... Like, it just took forever to reconnect. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck happened. Anyways, Ocho! You didn't miss any goals as Ocho puts that one in here for Portland to make it a 1-0 game. No, it was just my... I, I guess it, it might have been on Twitch's end because obviously nothing about my internet went out. Like... <laughs> I could still watch this game just fine, so I don't know. Maybe it was Twitch, maybe it was something with Streamlabs, but I doubt it. So. Either way, Ocho putting the first goal on the board here, game number two, as we have a minute 40 left. Portland up by one. They be able to maintain that lead here and force a game number three is a good pass up to Dolan by Booyah, but... Dolan can't find the pass back, however, gets a beautiful pass out of the corner here. Let's watch this one again. Booyah somehow finding that pass to Dolan and Timmy just barely being unable to save that one. Don't know how Booyah managed to do that, but that will tie it up a one-to-one -one here as Timmy gets it out in front of the Exotics net. Nobody home there, though. As Dolan takes that shot off the post, and Booyah just barely can't get to the rebound. Dolan not happy about that miss. Can't really blame him. Let's look at that pass over to Booyah. Booyah, looking for a chance here. The Exotics try to get one more goal on the board and end the series here. Timmy looking for a chance. Can't get that one on net. 45 seconds left here. Ocho and Booyah on the boards. Ocho will come away with that puck, but we'll lose it here to Dolan. Dolan and Ocho now fighting on the boards again. Ocho takes that shot. Marks tipped it away, but gave a good rebound chance there. Luckily for Marks, 
Ocho unable to get it as Dolan sends that puck away. Jack goes for the long shot just off the post. Around boards now. Dolan has a chance. Jack, good save. Jack now trying to get it past Buya. Buya stops that. Buya as Timmy takes a shot at his own goal. Luckily, Jack is there. Under 10 seconds left now. Oklahoma, maybe one last chance. Buya, good pass up to Marks. Marks loses that puck. Ocho, maybe a shot. Doesn't get any power behind it. And Buya gave a beautiful t chance to Timmy if he could have got that one on net. But instead, we have overtime here in game number two. Who will come away with this one? Team on the boards. Passing that one over to the other boards here. Jack, try and get that one up to Timmy's. Intercepted by Dolan. Booyah now. Sending that one around the boards. Finding Dolan, who will send it back around to Booyah. Booyah. Losing that one to Ocho. Ocho, pass out to Timmy. Stolen away by Marks. Marks, one-on-one. -on -one, can't get it past Jack. The Cone heads are going to fight here as Timmy and Marks fight for this puck. Now Ocho will come in and take it for the Porcupines. Booyah, handing that one over to Dolan. Dolan, looking for a chance here. Takes that shot, gets it past Jack, and in. The Exotics take the Series 2-0. And will move on to the second round of the bracket. Taking out the Portland Porcupines. Dolan get the, gets the MVP chance with two goals in that second game, including the game winner. As congratulations to the Exotics, they keep their hopes of making it to the Pro Division alive. As they will be moving on here. To the second round. Let me update some of the things here on this screen. As I, I keep clicking the wrong buttons for it. Hooray. Anyways, coming up next here, we have an interesting match. As we have the Michigan Mallards going up against the Boston Baked Beans. A Midwest battle. Or not really a Midwest battle. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Boston's not Midwest at all. <laughs> But anyways, that one will be up next here as once again the Oklahoma Exotics keep their tournament hopes alive. Take that series against Portland 2-0. With an overtime victory there in game number two. As of course it breaks, because why not? There we go. Anyways. We've got about 10 minutes before the start of our next match, so I am going to go on a short break, and I will catch you guys back here for the start of that one. Cool, cool. Alright, welcome back, everybody. We've got another match here. As coming up next, we have the Michigan Mallards going up against the Boston Baked Beans. Let's go take a look at their lineups for the Michigan Mallards. They have Blades, Chicken Noodle Soup, John Boy, and Toker. As for the Boston Baked Beans, they have Artigan, Larry Moo, Poop Sock, and Nuo 1414. Or Niwo. Niwo, actually, Niwo probably is right. Niwo, 1414. I'm going to go Niwo. Anyways, this should be an interesting matchup here. Of course, the Boston Big Beans, full of players who are pretty new to SPL. Off the top of my head, I think the most impressive out of that lineup is Larry Moo. I think, you know, he, he's got a bit of skill to him. Definitely a player to look out for here. Might be kind of the X factor. As for the Michigan Mallards, you know, plenty of veteran players there. Chicken Noodle Soup, kind of my standout for that roster, has been grinding the rebound. And has become quite a considerable player in his own right. And is turning the Michigan Mallards into not only a contender for Intermediate Division, but into a contender for Pro Division. If they can pull it off. And if we look at the bracket here for them, they... Don't have the easiest road to pulling that off as the winner of this matchup will be going on to face the Chicago Sale. What's the hype song called? The hype song is the 
is a specific version of the theme song for uh, Hockey Night in Canada. Oh, or, or do you mean like the, the like hype channel point song? Um, yeah, Zombie Nation, probably. Okay. Anyways, m the winner of this matchup will be facing the sale in the second round of this bracket. And then whoever wins that matchup will face somebody of the hammers, gupplings, baguettes, and ferrets to try to earn that pro spot. Also, Wallster, thank you for the prime 10 months. Very much appreciated. I'm guessing because I mentioned sale on stream, that counts enough to finally earn that. Looks like both teams are ready to go here. And we will get this one started. Mallards in red. Boston baked beans in blue. blue. Here we go. As Niwo dumping that puck down. Now Niwo stealing that one on the boards here. And Mallards almost walking that into their own net here to start this one off. And also if we go take a look at the predictions real quick. They were pretty much all Mallards, 91 to 9%. Honestly, 9% more than I expected for Boston. So, people are very much expecting the Mallards to come away with this one as Artigan sending that puck away from the net there, right as Blades was about to get it across the goal line. Of course, M-Dub cheering for the beans. As Artigan. I get that one out to Larry Moo. Blades on the boards here trying to steal this puck away and will. And we'll get it back to Toker. Toker trying to get back at the blades. Got tipped by Larry Moo. And Niwo. Trying to get that one up to Artigan. Larry Moo now. Good pass up to Artigan. Artigan can't get that shot off though. Had the one on one against Chicken Noodle Soup. Now Larry trying to pressure there. That puck getting up to Toker. Toker can't get that one on net here. Chicken Noodle Soup waiting here back near the Mallard zone. Getting that puck. Passing it back over to Toker. Toker. Battle of Niwo. They get stumped back behind the net. Larry Moose skating this puck around. Trying to get that one up to Artigan. But again. I'm going right to Chicken Noodle Soup. Chicken Noodle Soup with the one-on-one -on -one here. Artigan trying to pressure. Soup will pass that one up to Blades. Blades will lose control of that one. Larry Moo gets that actually around Blades. Pass back to Niwo. Niwo. Can't do much with it. Pass this one over to Artigan now. Artigan shot blocked. Larry Moo now has a chance. Gets blocked by Toker on the first chance there. And can't get a shot off. Toker now passing this one back to Blades. Blades center ice. Takes that shot and hits it for the Michigan Mallards. Putting them up on the board. One to nothing. Off a nice shot there from Blades. As we have about three minutes left here. Is Nemo. Getting that one out to Artigan. Artigan on the boards here, fighting with Toker. Toker will get control of that one, put it towards the Boston net, but wide. Is Larry Moo. Can't get past Blades. Toker now will take control of that puck. Take that shot and hit it here for the Mallards as they take a 2-0 lead. Toker getting that handoff from Blades and just putting a beautiful shot on net there from the boards, making it 2 to nothing. Is now Soup. Dumping that one back behind the Boston net. Nemo fighting with Toker. We'll get it away. Blades will hand this one off to Chicken Noodle Soup. Will not be able to maintain control of that puck. Chicken Noodle Soup, though, will steal it back here, though, for the Mallards. And just swing and a miss on that shot there. But had a good chance. As Larry Moo now trying to pass that puck up ice. Toker blocks it. Blades just skating it around here. Going to go for the wraparound. Gets stopped. Now Larry Moo dumps that puck away here. It's back behind the Michigan net. Chicken noodle soup. Always delicious. Passing that one up to Toker. Toker can't maintain control of it. Artigan. Passes this one over to Niwo. Niwo. Can't maintain control of that one either. Now Larry Moo on the boards here looking for an opportunity. Pass back to Artigan. Artigan. Takes that shot, it goes off of Blade's head. Larry Moo looking for another chance here. Pass out to Niwo. Niwo, back to Larry Moo. Larry Moo back out to Niwo. What a play there for Boston. 
as Nebo just walks it in off the nice pass here. And just like that, we've got a one-goal game, two to one, here in game number one. I think Boston are finding their stride a bit. Larry Moo just dumping that puck away. He goes right to Blades. Blades trying to get that one up to Toker. Larry Moo gets in the way. Blades now gets it past Niwo and in. I jinxed him. Commentator's curse. Say that they're finding their stride and immediately Blades puts that puck into the net to make it 3-1. to one. And they skipped the replay. How rude. You can't skip a replay when you're on broadcast. As Blades now trying to get that pass up ice. Larry Moo tips it. However, Blades will steal it back. Now Nuo. And in this one off to Artigan after the shot was blocked. But Toker will steal it away and put another one on the boards here. For the Michigan Mallards. Off a nice shot there. Making it 4-1 to one with a minute left. Now Nuo off the faceoff. Can't put that one in. We'll pass this one back to Artigan here. 50 seconds left. Beans down by four, or down by three, sorry. It'll be a tough comeback for sure. Larry Moo looking for an opportunity here to put that one on net. Good shot. Good save by Soup. Larry Moo gets it back. Takes another shot there. This one stopped by Toker. Ewo around boards to Larry Moo who gets it up to Artigan. Artigan center ice blocked by Blades. Toker gets another one. Five to one. Game number one is going to be going to the Mallards. You might hate me for it, but I'm going to put another spoiler on the board. I'm sorry, but... It's just the truth. So game number one here will be going to the Mallards. Once this one finishes. I'm just putting it on there early because I'll forget <laughs> if I don't. As Toker's shot, blocked by Niwo. Niwo taking one last shot here for Boston. Blades with the save. Mallards take the series one, or take game one, five to one. They do not take the series yet. It is best of three. So you can't take the series by just winning one game. That, that's not how it works. <laughs> All right, beans are ready to go now, right as I type that. As here we go. Oh, press the wrong button. Second game underway here. First one going to the Michigan Mallards, 5-2-1 over the Boston Baked Beans, and they immediately, eight seconds into game number two, make it a one-goal lead once again with Toker. Hitting that beautiful shot into the top corner of the net. Going top titty. As Larry Moo now trying to get control of that puck. Can't quite do it. A chicken noodle soup trying to get that one out to Blades. Artigan stole it but can't hit the shot on the open net. Is a bit of a difficult shot there. Not, not an easy angle. Still was a beautiful chance there for Boston to get some momentum back. Now Larry Moo trying to bring that one out in front of the net. Here's Boston still has this chance going. Niwo taking that shot blocked by Blades. Toker now. Wait for an opportunity. Larry Moo, good stop. Larry Moo dumping this over to the boards. Niwo trying to get that one up to Larry Moo who will get it past Chicken Noodle Soup and in. And Boston has tied this one up one to one. As Larry Moo and Soup battle for that puck, Larry Moo comes away with the victory. And Boston ties it up here in game number two. Niwo now looking for an opportunity. Can't get that one quite on net. Is Larry Moo trying to get that puck away from Soup? Can't quite do it. Niwo. Can't also just can't do much with it. Larry Moo, beautiful long shot hits it. And Boston take their first lead of the series here off a great shot from Larry Moo. All the way down ice and in 2-1. to one. Chicken noodle soup off the face off now. 
Maybe making the Mallards take this one a bit more seriously here after the blowout in game number one as Larry Moo gets to control of this puck again. Finds Artigan on a nice pass. Toker, good save. But Boston are finding some good offensive chances here as Artigan again with this puck. We'll send it around boards and find Larry Moo. Larry Moo, again, I would say Boston's top player. And certainly showing it here in this game so far. Two goals. It's the reason his team has the lead here. Two to one over the Michigan Mallard. Steals that one away from Soup. Make it a hat trick for Larry. Three to one. Living like Larry right now. It's a two goal lead for Boston. Here in game number two. Can they maintain it? As Nuo. Trying to get control of that puck. Can't quite do it. Chicken noodle soup. Getting that one to Toker. Toker. Trying to get it back out in front of the net here. Soup trying to battle for this puck for the Mallards. We'll send it around boards. Can't get Toker as Niwo. We'll send it back around boards here. Soup again. Center ice. Skates this one out in front. Artigan. Stop Soup for a bit. But Soup keeping this chance alive. Passes it back to Toker. Toker braids out from the net. But a bump by Artigan from behind. Keeps Toker from getting that shot on net. Good defense. And Boston maintains their two-goal lead. Blades, good pass over to Toker. Toker, center ice, takes that shot. Larry Moo, good stop. As now Toker again fights for that puck. Got an open net, but again, tough angle. Can't hit it. Still a two-goal lead for Boston. Larry Moo comes up, intercepts that puck, takes that shot off the post. Couldn't quite find the corner. Chicken noodle soup now setting up for the Mallards. Get that one around. Boards up to Toker. Toker's shot off the side of the net. Nemo now losing that one out in front of the net. We'll dump it away this time. Chicken Noodle Soup takes that shot. Good save by Artigan. As now Blades gets another shot. It goes off the post. And eventually Toker will be the one credited with this goal here. Tipping that one just across the goal line and in. And the Mallards bring this one back down to 1-3-2. Boston's lead cut in half. Chicken Noodle Soup now skating this puck up. Can't find Toker on the pass. Blades, try to get that one out to Soup. Larry Moo just dumps that puck away. You can see Boston stacking the net there. They're trying to play safe. That might be to their disadvantage, though. Toker shot blocked by Artigan. Artigan, one-on-one, -on -one, gets it past Soup, and in. Boston retakes their two-goal lead, 4-2. to two. Off a beautiful shot from Artigan here from center ice. As Boston are looking good right now. Those 91 to 9% odds. Not looking too accurate at the moment. As Nemo trying to dump that one down. Battling of Blades back behind the Mallard's net. Nemo comes away with it. Dumps that puck away. Chicken noodle soup. Scanning it around. We'll pass that one to Toker. Toker, beautiful pass to Blades. What a play here for the Mallards. The tic-tac-toe finds its way in to the Boston net. Making it a one-goal lead once again. The, uh, the Boston Baked Beans have a minute to hold on. Can they do it? Is Larry Moo trying to take control of that puck? P Toker knocks him off of it. Toker now. Scan it around. Can't find the pass to Soup. That puck will go all the way back behind the Boston net. Larry Moo dumps it back out. Niwo gets it around Soup there as it bounces off his head. Now Artigan steals that puck one-on-one. -on -one, puts another one in the net for Boston. Five to three. And with 33 seconds left, the Mallards hope for a comeback. Look at Swim. Niwo makes it a three-goal game with 30 seconds left. Game three looking pretty close here on the horizon. Larry Moo. Dumping this puck back to Artigan. Artigan. Losing that one to Toker, who will send it around boards here. Fine Chicken Noodle Soup, who from center ice puts another one in. Six to four. Both offenses firing on all cylinders at the moment. Can the Mallards find some way to get two more goals in 19 seconds? Toker loses control of that puck. Blades gets it back, though, for the Mallards. Blades looking. That one bounces off of Larry Moo. Toker now. 
Can't get that one on net. Ten seconds left. The Beans are just going to rag it. As it looks like game number three will happen as the Boston Baked Beans take a high-scoring victory here over the Mallards. Six to four in game number two. Game three coming up next. Beautifully done here. Everybody ready? Oh, wait, no. Not everybody ready? Why is the lobby screen, like, glitched out? Uh. Uh. Just kind of beamed. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave and rejoin. I think I I can't even leave. I can't even leave. Says you're not in the game, really. Okay, well, guess I'll just find the lobby again. Is the lobby get is restart game? Oh, great, wonderful. Uh, take a look at the bracket. Will we do this? Restart a game. Uh, there it is. Okay. I am back in the lobby. We can send it back on over here. Hey, Logs, thank you for the 100 bits. Very much appreciated. Let's go, Beans. Can they pull off the upset? Am I singing National Anthem? I can't sing worth shit, so... No. Oh, okay, never mind. Larry figured it out. Alright, here we go. Game 3 underway. Series tied 1-1 one one after a 6-4 victory for the Boston Baked Beans. Just a high-scoring affair in the last one. Will this game match the last game's offensive powerhouses? Chicken noodle soup trying to get that pass up the blades. Artigan steals it away. Artigan, good pass up to Larry Moo. I think, <laughs> I think Artigan was actually trying to fake out soup to think shot there and just handed off a pass to Larry Moo. However, didn't quite work out for the baked beans. Now Soup looking for a chance here for the Mallards. Blades will take control of this puck now. Looks. Gets blocked by Artigan on the first shot. And Larry Moo sends that one away. Around board. Soup will find Toker. And Toker fights with Niwo. Niwo getting it back to Artigan who puts a shot towards the net. Not on it though. As Soup now battling with Larry Moo. Soup keeping that puck away from him. And getting that one over to Toker. Toker skating this one up. Get blocked by Niwo in the pass attempt. Artigan. Battling here on the boards. Gets that puck away. Now Larry Moo takes control of it. Loses it to Blades. Blades shot blocked by Niwo. But Toker comes up. Can't hit that shot. Blades. Skating this one up. Larry Moo gets it away from Blades. But it acted like a pass to Toker. Luckily for him, Toker. Bit too fast. Couldn't get control of that puck. Now Soup intercepts that pass. Can't find that shot though. Larry Moo. Battling of Toker. Toker. Pass out to Blades, doesn't connect. It goes all the way down to Soup. Soup, back up to Toker. Toker can't get that shot on net. Nor can get that pass around the boards. As he'll fight with Larry Moo. Larry Moo gets that puck away, goes for the lawn shot. Soup, right there to make the stop, though, for the Mallards. Niwo now. Battle of Toker on the boards. Toker comes away with that puck. Shot, wide. Artigan, can't do much with it. As Larry Moo at center ice here will take control of the puck. Fight with Toker. Take that puck back. Back behind the Boston Baked Beans net. Gets that one up to Artigan. Artigan, battling of Toker. Larry Moo can't get control of that puck. Chicken Noodle Soup fighting with Artigan here at the blue line. Soup. Shot way wide. As Niwo now trying to get this one out of the Boston zone. Blaze stops him. Larry Moo's turn to try to get this one out of the zone. And will put in this one back behind the Michigan net. After the high scoring affair of game number two. We are left scoreless here halfway through game number one.
or not game number one, game number three. You gotta count forwards, not backwards. As Chicken Noodle Soup can't find that shot. Just wide of the net. Now Blades, that one tipping off of Artigan and Niwo eventually being the one to make that save there. Keeping it scoreless. Soup getting that one around boards to Toker. Toker can't get it back to Soup though. Soup gets that shot off. Again, wide of the net. Artigan now trying to dump that one away. Chicken Noodle Soup another chance. Gets that one to Blades. Good pass, Blades. Just barely misses the net though. Niwo, good pass up to Artigan. Artigan can't find that angle. Does not get his stick all the way around there. As Chicken Noodle Soup around boards finds Toker. Toker wide of the net. But Blades will get this puck. In the corner. Gets out to Toker. Toker has a chance, but the wall of baked beans keeps him away from that goal. Larry moves lawn shot blocked by Soup. Chicken Noodle Soup with Artigan pressuring. We'll have to go around boards to Toker. Toker puts that one towards Niwo. Niwo sends it back up towards Soup. Soup, good pass to Blades. Blades looking to just walk this one in here. Gets it to Toker. Larry Moo at the net, though, makes the save. We are still scoreless. Chicken Noodle Soup again. Larry Moo up to pressure. Soup looking for a pass. We'll find Blades. Blades off the boards here. Has a chance maybe. Niwo sends it away. Goes right to Soup. Soup takes that shot wide of the net. Larry Moo will get this one away from Blades. Try to get that one up to Artigan. Soup comes away with this puck under a minute left. Gets it around boards to Toker. Toker just dumps it back behind the Boston net. Blades is there. Blades gets it out in front, and Toker skates up, puts that one in. And with 50 seconds left, the Mallards finally break the scoreless, scoreless tie. One to nothing. Now Nemo off the faceoff, can't get that one on net. Can Boston answer back here? They don't have much time. Toker passes back to Soup. Soup keeping it away from Nemo. Nemo overskates him. Soup can't get that one to Blades. Larry Moo gets in the way. Toker will dump that puck away here as we're going to approach 30 seconds left. Artigan leaves that puck behind. Blades goes for the wraparound. Niwo stops him. Under 30 seconds. Larry Moo looking for an opportunity. Has this puck for Boston. Skating it around. Time winding down. Larry Moo trying to get that one up to Artigan. Soup keeps it away. Soup now back behind the Michigan net. Niwo and Artigan pressuring. Soup gets it all the way up to Toker. 10 seconds left. Can Boston do something? Niwo can't get that puck. Toker keeps it away. Nemo sends it around, boards Boston looking for one last chance, won't be able to find it. And the Michigan Mallards come back after a high scoring loss in game number two to take game number three, 1-0. And move on to the second round of the tournament to face the Chicago Sale. As Boston, incredibly well fought, will come away with the L here. Put up a beautiful fight nonetheless. Congratulations to them. So let me update the uh, text in here. As coming up next, we will have the Hartford Wolves going up against the West Virginia Orangutans. I'm failing to edit text at the moment. There we go. Actually... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so we've got about seven-ish minutes. I'll, I'll just make a new lobby. Whatever. Anyways, we've got about seven-ish minutes before the start of the next match. So once I am done finishing up, uh, finicking with some stuff in Slapshot, we will go on break while we wait for this next match to start. All right, welcome back, everybody. Coming off the tales of that very incredible match between the Michigan Mallards and the Boston Baked Beans, we have yet another round one match ready to go here. As coming up next, we have the Hartford Wolves going up against the West Virginia Orangutans. So let's take a look at the matchup. 
All right, let's take a look at the lineups for both of these teams. For the Hartford Wolves, they have Breathe, Infidel, JS Tronics, and Ultra Wolf as their star as their uh, four players here. It looks like it will be Infidel, Ultra Wolf, and JS Tronics as the three they go with for this one. As for the West Virginia Orangutans, they have Cameron, Falapa Fish, Night Sector, and Hoodler. And it looks like it'll be Fish, Hoodler, and Cameron playing for the Orangutans in this one. So we don't get the matchup of the uh, content creators, unfortunately, as Night Sector isn't here. However, this should still be a pretty good matchup, in my opinion. I think West Virginia will take this one. However, you know, I haven't really seen much of the Wolves up to this point, so I'm interested to see if they can maybe pull off the upset here. Yeah, I, I really can't. I've been saying Niwo, Nuo. Like, I'm not really sure how you actually pronounce it, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, let's also take a look at the bracket here. Real quick before we go, Wolves and Orangutans in the Clappers side of the bracket. So, you know, the path to pro, definitely not easy if they win this one. All right, well, it looks like everybody's giving out the good lucks. Have fun, so I think everybody's ready to go here. As we get this one started. Wolves in red. I got the team order mixed up. Oops, hold on. <laughs> Let me go fix that real quick. As this one is underway here. Very smart, believe me. Okay. So, Wolves are in red, and the Orangutans are in blue. That's how this works. Wow. Okay, there you go. As we have this one started here, best of three series. Game number one, Hoodler looking for a chance here for the Orangutans. Puts that shot on net. JS Tronix got in the way, and then all three Orangutans missed that puck. All of them. They had it. <laughs> As now Fish just walks that one in for the Wolves here. They get that goal anyways. As Hoodler gets it away from JS Tronics. And they just Fish walking that one in for the Orangutans. As they will take an early 1-0, make it 2-0 lead over the Wolves. As Fish would just say, that beautiful shot from the Blue line there. Now Fish again looking for another opportunity. That was with Ultra Wolf. This puck finding its way back to Cameron. Cameron. The center ice takes that shot. Tronix gets in the way. Fish puts that one in. I'm smelling a blowout. Three to nothing. Cameron. The puck here for the Orangutans. Getting that one up to Fish. Fish trying to send that one away. Infidel gets in the way of it. Now Fish again. For West Virginia. Passing this one back to Cameron. Cameron center ice. Puts that shot on net. Four to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fish now looking for a chance. Five to nothing. We are probably about to get a mercy rule here, to be honest. <laughs> if anybody is in communication with these teams, uh, please let them know that uh, when this gets to eight to nothing, uh, the match should stop. Or if we get to an eight goal differential, maybe the Wolves can find a goal here. That's Cameron. Six to nothing. It gave Wolves a free group. Well, I mean, yeah. You know, when the groups were uh, completed, we didn't expect the breakaway to not compete. Montana to just 
forfeit all their matches. The, the group was kind of free, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of unfortunately how it goes. Luckily for the Wolves, they do get a decent amount of points for just making it to the bracket stage, so... Even if they do lose their uh, two games here, you know? Got a decent amount of chunk of points on the leaderboards as Ultra Wolf almost hits that one. I'm hoping the Wolves can find at least one goal here. It's Tronics bouncing that one off the boards, Infidel. Can't get it away from Cameron. Actually does get it away from Cameron. Gets it back to JS. Phronix will try to get that one up to Infidel. Can't quite do it. Fish gets that puck. Gets it over to Cameron. Cameron from the blue line. Bounces that one off of Fish's head. Doesn't quite go in. A winner of this won't face the Clappers. They will be facing uh, somebody versus somebody. <laughs> I need to take a look at the bracket again. Hold on. Let me get that up for myself here. Uh, look at the bracket. The winner of this will go on to face the winner of Otters vs. Voodoo. Which, uh, that already happened. Uh, who won that one? I think it, yeah, it was the Otters won that one. So the winner of this goes on to face the Otters, and then the winner of that goes on to face the Clappers. Most likely. Unless the Clappers lose to either the Stampede or the Light Emitting Dangles. You know, nothing is a guarantee. Got to make that clear. <laughs> the bottles being <laughs> hit around. It's not trash. As Cameron can't make it seven to nothing. As the scoring definitely has slowed down here for West Virginia. I think maybe they're trying to get a bit more flash with their goals at this point. It looks like Hartford will at least be able to avoid the Mercy Rule. It's Cameron. Fights with his puck. Gets it away. Two on one. Good first save by Infidel. But can't make the save off the rebound. Seven to nothing. Also, for those of you wondering, the bottle on the ice currently is client side, not like uh, server side. So I'm the only one who sees that bottle just sitting there. I'm pretty sure for all the players, the bottle gets reset correctly. As Infidel sends it around boards, can't find Ultra Wolf. That will end game number one. Hey, at least it wasn't a mercy rule. Seven to nothing for the West Virginia Orangutans. Taking game number one. Okay. Lobby's working this time. <laughs> They're all readied up. I'm going to assume that means that they're ready. Guppies against hotboxers on the official Guppies channel. <laughs> Is that going right now? It's Cameron. I was told by Ghetto that that match wasn't going to be till tomorrow. I'd be a bit sad if I'm missing out on a Guppies match right now. As the orangutans took game number one seven to nothing, as Cameron missing on that shot there. We'll see if game two is a similar blowout. One to nothing, so uh, probably. All right, I'm I'm a bit mad because I was told that this match wasn't gonna be tonight, but whatever. Everybody, go over to Cowtown Guppies and go watch an actual match while we wait for this one to finish.
As Fish tries to lock that one in. <laughs> no offense to the wolves, but if I had the choice as a viewer between uh, Cowtown versus Houston and uh, Hartford versus West Virginia right now, please go go take Cowtown versus Houston. Want to become famous? Oh, I didn't ban him. Fuck. I clicked timeout. Oh well. <laughs> Want to become famous? <laughs> so they're trying to put that shot on net. Infidel, good save. This is still only a one to nothing game. The Wolves are playing a bit uh, stronger defense this time around, at least, as Hoodler, as I say that, just just locks it in. Two to nothing. Full dynamic approach there. Infidel. Losing this one to Cameron. Cameron trying to get that one out in front of the net. Jay Astronic stops it. Fidel now. Losing that one to flop a fish. Off the post. Hoodler knocks that one in. Three to nothing. Oh shit. 84 followers? Oh, I gotta get on that. I got myself up to 700. Cameron now puts out in front of the net. Tronics good stops. We've been at a three goal game here. I want to see Hartford get a goal. <laughs> Thanks, Seppi. As Fish getting this one up to Cameron. Cameron can't do much with it. Now Infidel dumping this one back behind the West Virginia net. Fish. Pass up to Cameron. Cameron can't get that one on net. Ultra Wolf now looking for a chance. Lose it to Fish. Fish. Battling here. Infidel steals it back. Fish gets it away from him, though. It's off to Cameron. Cameron skates it out in front of the Hartford net. Can't get that shot on net, though. Cameron not happy about it. Almost had the highlight goal. It's now Cameron. Losing that one out in front of his own net. But he goes all the way up to Fish, who with a beautiful shot puts that one in. Cameron is raging. Four to nothing for the West Virginia orangutans. As with a minute 40 left. Hartford without a uh, singular goal at this point. I think it's pretty safe to assume that West Virginia is going to be taking this series here 2-0. But maybe I'm wrong. His fish putting that one in. Five to nothing. Can't assume anything. That's true. That's true. Maybe Hartford's just playing all of us. And they're just gonna fucking go all out for five goals straight. Make it six goals straight. Cameron nice shotting himself. Because, you know, in a match where you're up six to nothing, gotta be M. Anyways. This puck going all the way back up to Hoodler. Hoodler getting it back down to Cameron. Can't put that shot on net. Paid advertisement. <laughs> yeah, put Night Sector in. Where's Night Sector? It's this puck kind of just getting dumped back and forth. Fish stopping that one, getting control of it, bringing it to center ice. Seven to nothing. With 27 seconds left. Will we avoid mercy rule once again? Got 20 seconds to do so. Can the wolves hold on? 
Cameron, looking. Can't get that shot on net. Wait, no, maybe if you gendered me correctly, I would acknowledge that your stupid little chat meme. <laughs> Anyways, still seven to nothing. Hey, they avoided the mercy again. Congratulations to the wolves. A second seven to nothing score line as the West Virginia orangutans take the series 2-0 in dominant fashion. They'll be moving on to face the Orlando Otters in the second round, which that one should honestly be a pretty good series. I'm very interested in that. Walster, I don't trust you singing the anthem. I don't think you have the pipes. Alright, well, I'm going to switch off the screen real quick so I can get a new lobby set up here because everybody's kind of taking a bit to leave. And we have a game that's set to begin right away. As coming up next, we have the New Jersey Minutemen going up against the Arizona Outlaws. So, just getting passwords out to everybody. Can I sing the anthem for a sub? Mm, I'm gonna have to say no. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just get a couple more things set up here while we wait for everybody. Get the stream title updated. Uh, it's not even, well, I'll, I'll update this because apparently we're still waiting for uh, Arizona to get here. All right. Oh, hey, look. Arizona's in the lobby now. Sick. So, I would do the lineup screen, but I don't think I would have time to set that one up. So, I will just go over the lineups once we are in Slapshot. So, let me try to get this set up at least. <laughs> so, in red, we've got the New Jersey Minutemen. Blue, we have the Arizona Outlaws. I don't do well when I'm only given, like, a minute in between matches, as you can tell. Too many things to change. Okay. All right, here we go. Another round one matchup underway here. Best of three as we got the New Jersey Minutemen going up against the Arizona Outlaws. For the New Jersey Minutemen, on the ice, they have Laster, Iceman, and Rom. They also, on their bench, have... I'm trying to think, who is their bench player? And I'm trying to blank on that for some reason. All right, well, <laughs> I'll try to remember that. As for the Arizona Outlaws, they have Papa Shield, Jogi, and Sig. I don't know who the fuck Sig is. Is Sig Effect?
or sig somebody else. As whoever they are, they do not stop that shot from Rom, who puts a 1-0 lead on the board here for the Minutemen as that one bounces off of Jogi and in. Anyways, Alaster skating that one up, trying to find that pass to Rom, doesn't quite connect. Rom now passing this one back to Iceman. Iceman to center ice here. Back up to Rom. Rom can't find a laster on the pass. Now a laster for another chance here. We'll pass this one over to Iceman. Iceman can't get control of that puck. Now Alaster again can't find Iceman again as Sig sends that one away. Now out in front of the net, Iceman keeping that one away here as that one goes around net to Rom. Rom back to Alaster. Sig stopping that one, looking for an opportunity. Puts it past Iceman and in. Did not think that one was actually going in on that shot. But it does. It's just past Iceman and into the net and ties that one up here for Arizona. One to one. Now, Jogi puts Arizona in the lead here with a shot from the boards, making it two to one. As Alaster barely gets a stick on it there, but not enough to keep that puck out of the net. As Jogi again looking. And then that one back to Sig. Sig shot blocked by Rom. Papa Shields. Look in here. Probably the oldest member of SPL. Can't get control of that puck as Jogi puts it towards the net. Rom sends it back. Elaster. Gain this puck around. Passes it back up to Iceman. Iceman loses control of it. Goes back out to Elaster. Jogi. Can't get to that one as Rom got it. But misses the net. Now Iceman back out to Rom. Rom going to battle with Jogi. Can't get a shot on net. Jogi takes that puck. Shot wide of the net. Elastic. They send that one down ice. It goes right to Sig, who can't get that one into the net just wide. Now Iceman trying to dump it away. Jogi stops that. Jogi now chance out in front of the net. Can't maintain control of the puck. Is it back out in front of the net, but nobody home there is Elastic. Dumps that puck away. Sig trying to dump it away for Arizona. Goes right to Rom, though. Keep this one in the outlaw zone. Jogi. Looking. Skates it around. Rom one on one. Puts it past Iceman and in. Gets his second goal of this game, number one. And with a minute 48 left on the board, gives the Arizona Outlaws a two goal lead, three to one. Can they maintain it and take game number one here in what I would consider upset fashion? As I think. At least personally, I would have picked the Minutemen as the favorite in this one. As Rom now looking. Gets it past Jogi, but Jogi gets it back. Elaster gets it to Iceman, who can't get that one on net. Couple of saves there in front of the net. Here it's Iceman again. Just misses the net. Papa Shields. Back over to Jogi. Jogi. I get that one up to Sig. Sig and Elaster will fight back behind the New Jersey net here. Sig will come away with it. Get it out in front. Nobody home. Elaster, getting that one up to Rom. Rom can't get that one on net, just over the net, I think, actually. As Jogi will lose that one to Rom, who intercepts that pass to Sig. Now Jogi steals it back. Elaster, losing it to Jogi. Can't get that shot on net. 3 to 1, our score, a two goal lead for Arizona. Can they maintain it and take game number one here as Sig misses wide? That pass it to Rom. Rom can't quite get that shot on net though. Now Alaster. Can't fight Rom. Can't find Rom. Rom again. Going for the wraparound. Can't hit it. Alaster to Iceman. Iceman. Can't get it out to Rom. Jogi shot wide of the net. Now Alaster loses that one out in front of his own net. Now Iceman dumps it away. 
Five seconds left here. It looks like Arizona will be taking game number one, three to one over the New Jersey Minutemen here. Off a pretty good performance by Jogi. Two goals in that one, one goal for Sig. All right, so Sig is chill. Okay. Good to know. Let me just update the scoreboard here to reflect that Arizona has a 1-0 series lead. And we will get this one started. All right, here we go. Game two underway here. Nothing, nothing score line. As Jogi on the boards. Fighting with Rom. Rom comes away with that puck. Just going to try to walk it in and will. He won to nothing lead here for New Jersey as Rom just with a very strong W key puts that one in. As now Iceman will get control of the puck here for New Jersey. They take an early lead in game number two. They lost game number one, three to one to the Arizona Outlaws. Papa Shield trying to dump that one. Iceman gets in the way. Iceman. Is that one up to Alaster? Alaster tries to put it towards net. Sig gets to that puck though and dumps it away. Jogi. Keeps it away from Rom and brings it right to that open net. Good moves. As Jogi just with a nice little move there gets it out in front of the New Jersey net and it's open to put that puck away and tie it up one to one. As Jogi now again looking for a chance here. Alaster stops that. Sig shot blocked as well. Now Alaster scanning it around. Pass to Iceman doesn't connect. Sig sending that one down ice. Rom gets in the way. Jogi now skates it up, takes that shot. Rom blocks it. Now Jogi brings out in front of the net. Again, this time Iceman is there to make the save. Does not allow him to hit a second shot like that. As Papa Shields will get this puck here for the Outlaws. Shields looking for a chance here. Just dumps that puck away. Rom now sending that shot back. It's wide of the net. Sig's turn with it. From back behind the Outlaws net. We'll try to get that one up to Jogi. Instead it goes all the way down to Iceman. Iceman and Jogi fighting in the corner. Iceman. We'll dump it back out, but it goes right to Sig. Sig passes it back up to Jogi. Jogi back out to Sig. The two of them passing it back and forth. Now Rom will take control here for New Jersey. Dump it back behind the Arizona net, where Alaster will send it out in front. Papa Shields stops that one. Now Rom again. As New Jersey looks to retake the lead, Rom shot wide of the net. Alaster. And then this one back to Iceman. Iceman back to Rom. Rom can't do much with it. Alaster dumps this one back behind the Arizona net. Shields around boards. Gets blocked by Iceman. Shields again. Try and come back to that one. As this puck gets pinched over to the other side. Alaster. I know Sig. Sig. Pass to Jogi. Jogi. Skating this one up. Looks. We'll just lose control of that puck here. Get it back though. Still looking for a chance. Iceman sends that one away. Sig now. Pass up to Jogi. Stolen by Rom. Rom. Center ice. Can't do much with that one. Jogi. Pass to Sig. Sig. Can't find the pass back. And now this puck gets left out in front of the Jer New Jersey net. I think it pinched between somebody there as Rom steals it away from Papa Shields. Can't hit that shot, though. Papa Shields around boards, finds Jogi. Jogi gets it away from Iceman, skates it up, takes that shot. Alaster, good save. Jogi gets it back, though, gets it to Sig. Sig can't get that one on net. Alaster gets this puck back. Looking for an opportunity here. Center ice, skating it around. Loses control of that one, though, as now Jogi will get control of it. But we immediately lose that one to Rom. Rom around boards, trying to find a laster. Doesn't quite connect. Sig around boards. This one goes back into the New Jersey zone. Rom. The puck goes to the lawn. Shot. Papa Shields. Good save. 
Blaster. Back out to Rom. Rom looking for an opportunity. Fighting with Sig. Sig will not come away with that puck, but Jogi will get it away from Rom here, and Papa Shields will dump it away. Nice, man. Back to Rom. Rom shot wide of the net. Sig. Controls his puck. Goes for the long shot. Alaster stops it. Alaster trying to get it up to a nice man. Jogi steals it away. Takes that shot. Alaster tipped it. It went off the post, but the rebound gives Sig a chance. And he hits it. As Alaster got caught on the post, does not get to that puck. And the Arizona Outlaws take a 2-1 lead. Can they maintain it to take game two and the series? As Alaster going for the long shot wide of the net. Now Sig dumping that puck back. Rom. Looking. 35 seconds left. Sig losing that one to Alaster. Alaster tries another one down. Ice Sig keeps it in the New Jersey zone. New Jersey needs a chance here. Rom looking for one. Loses it to Jogi. Jogi has an open net. Iceman comes back for the save. 20 seconds left. Minutemen. Iceman hands it over to Alaster. Alaster looking. Center ice. Skates this one up. Jogi, good save. 10 seconds left. Jogi skates it back. Can't hit that shot. So New Jersey still has a chance. Alaster looking. Can't get that one down. Ice Sig blocks it. Shot off the post. But it does not matter. 2-1 to one our score. A 2-0 series victory for the Arizona Outlaws. As they advance to the second round. Over the New Jersey Minutemen. A great series from Sig and Jogi. So congrats to the Arizona Outlaws to surviving and moving on to the next round. Now, with there being like an hour before our next match, I'm going to stop the stream for now. Because, you know, there's like an hour before this next match starts. So I'm going to stop the stream, and then I will come back on in about like... I don't know. Get some try Tripoloski practice. I mean, I don't think anybody's on right now. Or if they are, they're probably busy. I'm just going to shut down the stream for now. And I will come back about 15 minutes before uh, Grizzlies vs. Cleavers start. So I'll be back on at like... Uh... 10-15. Sound good? Good. Thank you for the bit, Yuri. Appreciate it. Also, I'm not going to 1v1 Night Sector. <laughs> I like. I appreciate the offer, but I'm good. So, like I said, I will be back in around, you know, like 45 minutes or so for the start of Grizzlies vs. Cleavers. Cool, cool. See you then. Okay, after the long wait, we are finally back for our last match of the night here as we have the Yosemite Grizzlies preparing to go up against the New York Cleavers. Let's take a look at their lineups while we wait for while we wait for everybody to fill into the lobby. So, coming up for the Yosemite Grizzlies, they have random player Bombs, Darnell, and Wendy's Cashier as their four at their disposal. As for the New York Cleavers, they have Bose, Guzmo, Gusmo, MNSO Winner 1, and Owen Cara Craftis? I'm going to say Craftis. That makes sense. I'm probably just going to call him Owen the entire time anyways. So, of course, the Grizzlies are a team that have pro aspirations, so obviously they are going to be looking to win this one here and are probably favored to win this one over the New York Cleavers. We go take a look at the predictions. Those kind of agree with that. 84 to 16%. Picking the Grizzlies here. However, you know, New York could surprise some people. Maybe. I guess it all just... 
depends. They can pull off the upset or not. Now, we can also look at the bracket here while we wait for everybody to get into the lobby. That is not the right bracket. Hold on. Where are they? There we go. This is the right one. So, so far on this side of the bracket, the Bandits and Guppies have moved on to the second round. We're still waiting on Wrath and Camels, and then of course, the winner of this match will be going on to face the Guppies. So, you know, obviously Cowtown, very much paying attention to this one. I mean, I'm assuming if you're Cowtown, you want the New York upset. But then again, if New York can beat Yosemite, what does that say about them, you know? So, anyways, we're still waiting on the Grizzlies to actually get into the lobby. Ghetto's saying that uh, the Cowtown wants to go up against every single team, you know? I can respect that. For sure. This team's fill in here. So it does look like Darnell is going to be starting for the Grizzlies in this one. Not a usual sight, at least. Maybe you know, maybe they're uh, underestimating New York a bit and wanting to give Darnell some playtime, or maybe, you know, uh, maybe random player just isn't available. As I say that, random player joins in as a spectator, so I'm assuming he's available. Either way, let me get a ready up from both sides, and then we will get going. Laugh track with the raid, thank you very much. Alright. Okay, both teams are ready, so let's get this one going. Why not to launch into the game here? All right, here we go. Best of three series, Grizzlies in red, Cleavers in blue, and right off the face-off. New York puts a goal on the board. MNSO with a nice shot there, making it one to nothing. Now Guzmo off the face-off, shot blocked by Darnell. And the Cleaver's almost going up 2 nothing there as Darnell has to make the save. New York kind of coming out of the gates firing as Wendy's sends that shot wide of the net. Owen going to fight with Wendy's on the board here. Wendy's gets that one away and back to Darnell. Now, like I said earlier, Grizzlies sitting random player in this one having Darnell fill in. And then of course for the Cleavers, they've got Gusmo. As of all, Darnell and Wendy's barely combined to make the save there. Now, MNSO winner. Try to get that one out to Owen. Can't quite do it. But anyways, Cleavers have Guzmo, Owen, and MNSO. They're starting three here. And of course, the winner of this matchup will be facing the Guppies in the second round of this side of the bracket as MNSO makes three straight saves. One of those shots coming from his teammate. New York impressive so far as Bombs puts a good shot on net here to tie this one up one to one. Nice shot from the boards there. Now Darnell off the face off makes it two to one. As y'all somebody looking to quell the uh, fast start from the New York Cleavers with a couple of quick goals there. Now Bombs makes it 3 to 1 just like that. All the momentum has shifted. Cleavers had a good start, but the Grizzlies have taken control 3 to 1, a two goal lead. Yesmo trying to get that one to Owen. Doesn't quite connect. Now Darnell getting this one out to Bombs. Bombs Gusmo on him. Keeping that puck away. Gus still pressuring. B 
Bombs having to bring that one all the way back behind his own net, but then he opts for the pass around boards to Wendy's, who takes that shot wide of the net. Now Darnell, nobody out in front there as Bombs will have to go back to his own zone to grab that puck. MNSO steals it away from Bonds, but can't hit that shot. Now Darnell, looking for the pass out. Owen stops it. Owen now, good moves, gets around Bombs. Can't find the shot on net, though. Three minutes left here, a two-goal lead for Yosemite. As Darnell tries to make it a three-goal lead just wide. Bombs now, looking for an opportunity. MNSO fighting. Gusmo steals that puck away. Bombs gets it back, though. Looks, finds Darnell on a great pass there from the corner. 4-1, to one, our score. Beautifully executed there for the Grizzlies. A three-goal lead now for Yosemite. Now, Wendy's cashier looking to make it 5-1, to one maybe? No. Can't find the shot. Owen, good pass up to Gusmo. Gusmo looking, can't get that one on net. The Cleavers are getting a couple of good chances here. Nothing really falling after that very early goal from Winner. As Darnell can't get that one on net, the bottle getting flung around the ice. As Darnell's shot goes off the side of the net, Gusmo can't get control of that puck, but Bombs loses control of it as well. And MNSO sends that puck away. Wendy's cashier looking for a shot. Skates this puck up. Gets it out in front of the net. Gusmo seals it away. Gusmo sh shot the way wide. Bombs around boards will find Wendy's cashier. Wendy's, good pass to Darnell. Darnell back to Wendy's. Who sends it back out in front of the net. Nobody home. Owen now grabs this puck here for New York. Looking for an opportunity. Can't find that pass to winner. Wendy's cashier. Center ice. Gusmo. Good D. Slowing down Wendy's on that chance there. Sends it around boards and finds Owen. Owen. Around bombs. Can't get it up to Gusmo. Wendy's. Center ice. Looking for a shot. Can't hit it. MNSO losing that puck. Bombs. Can't find the net though. However, Grizzlies already have a three goal lead. So adding to it probably doesn't matter too much at this point. They just need to maintain it. As Owen, good move, gets around Wendy's. Does not find MNSO on that pass there, though. As that puck gets pinched down, back, behind. Yosemite net, Darnell will not get that puck. MNSO trying to get that one out to Gusmo. Gusmo gets that puck, but can't maintain control of it. As the game just kicked me out. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Slapshot. As Grizzlies apparently got another goal. Well, I got kicked out. That's Slapshot, baby. 5-1, to one, our score. Looks like game number one is going to go to Yosemite here. Again, despite that early goal from the Cleavers. And honestly, a pretty good start early on from New York. They've just been kind of shut down afterwards by Yosemite. Which was a bit to be expected, but still. There's still at least one game to go here for New York. They want to try to impress as Bombs misses on that shot there. But game number one here. Going to be going to the Grizzlies. Most likely 5-1 to one unless they can find something. They can't. Hey, Infidel. Thank you for the prime sub. Very much appreciated. Anyways, 5-1 to one, our final score here in game number one. As the Yosemite Grizzlies take it. Let me update the score on there. There you go. I'll try my hardest. All right, all new. Everybody's ready up. So let's get this one going. Game two of our best of three series underway as MNSO can't find a shot there to start this one off. As the Grizzlies won game number one, five to one. They can win game number two here. They take the series and will move on to the second round to face the Cowtown Guppies. As Darnell now setting up for the Grizzlies here. Looking, 
We'll find a good pass over to Wendy's. Wendy's, try to get that one to Bombs. Can't quite connect. Now Bombs. Blue line, blocked by Owen. Owen trying to dump that puck. Wendy's gets in the way, though. Wendy's good shot. Gusmo, though, good save. Cleavers keep it scoreless. Wendy's will pass this one back to Darnell. Darnell fighting with Owen. We'll send that one around. Boards to Wendy's. Wendy's can't get it past MNSO. One on one here. No, Bombs actually had enough time to come back up to that puck and stop MNSO. And nobody to really pass it to there as Gusmo and Bombs going to fight back behind the Yosemite net. Bombs will come away with this one. Get some room. Send it up ice to Darnell who tries to get it to Wendy's. And instead, Owen own goals this one here, trying to stop the pass. Sends it into his own net instead. Unlucky, one to nothing. The Grizzlies take a lead. Now with that pass intercepted by Wendy's, who just hands it off to Darnell. And now a two to nothing lead here for the Grizzlies. As Gusmo can't get that puck away from Wendy's and Darnell, able to finish the job, two to nothing. And Wendy's make it three to nothing here off the faceoff, though. No, MNSO steals it. Now puck over to, over to Gusmo. Gusmo fighting for it. MNSO now trying to fight for it. Neither come away with it. As Wendy's will get this one to Darnell. Darnell. Try to get that one down ice to Bombs. Doesn't quite connect. Owen knocked off that puck here. Bombs looking for a pass. MNSO pressuring. Owen gets it away. Oh, and almost own goals it there. Sending it over to the other side. MNSO can't get it. Now winner going to fight with Bombs. Now Bombs steals that one in front of the net, but does not hit that shot. Goes for another shot here off the side of the net. Bombs looking for a wraparound, maybe. Gusmo fighting with him back there. Bombs maintains control of the puck here, though. Wendy's and Darnell both waiting for a pass. Darnell gets that one over to Wendy's. Beautiful pass by Darnell. And a good header here from Wendy's cashier. Makes it a 3 to nothing game. Grizzlies are pulling away with this one here in game number two. Owen now steals that puck away. Can't hit the shot, though. Now Owen again looking. Pass over the middle. MNSO can't get that puck away from Darnell. Now Darnell just walking this one up the ice. MNSO eventually getting that puck, though. Can't find Owen on the pass. Bombs at the blue line. Takes it. Skates it around. Brings it to center ice. MNSO trying to steal the way. Can't quite do it. Gus Moe now. Just trying to dump it. Puck will glide its way to Bombs. Skating it around here. We'll skate it up. Can't get it past MNSO, but it goes over to Darnell anyways. And this is an open net for the Cleavers. Gusmo, no! Just walk it in. Still scoreless here for the Cleavers. Is now Wendy's cashier looking from the corner. Minute 40 left. We'll send it around. Boards to Darnell. Darnell can't find bombs. <laughs> As bombs now skating it up. Looking. Gets blocked by Gusmo on the shot. <laughs> Look. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay? Is Darnell now looking, trying to find Wendy's on the boards. Wendy's gets that one over to Bombs. Bombs. On the boards here, fighting with Gusmo. Under a minute left. Finds Wendy's. Wendy's can't, or will get it around Owen, actually. Owen stopped in the first time, but Wendy's maintained control of that puck and walks it in. Four to nothing. With under a minute left, it looks like Grizzlies will take game number two here and the series against the New York Cleavers, unless something mir miraculous happens for New York. MNSO gets that pass over to Owen. Owen cannot get control of that puck. It goes over to Wendy's at center ice. Wendy's looks for a shot. Can't get it past Gusmo. There's bombs now. From the corner. Can't hit that shot. 
Maybe just trying to walk it in here. Darnell gets it to Bombs, who will tip that one in. Five to nothing. Somebody left. <laughs> Owen left. F. Well, that will do it here for game number two and for the series as the Yosemite Grizzlies take it 2-0 and we'll move on to the second round to face the Cowtown Guppies, which should be a pretty good matchup. Of course, the Guppies, a very big fan favorite, and the Grizzlies, a team that has had a very good tournament so far, should be a very good series between those two teams. You can look forward to that tomorrow night, most likely, at least. Do we get hype? <laughs> Anyways, that will do it for me here tonight. As Oscar continues sending out the, <laughs> the fucking channel point commands. You know, tonight was an interesting mix of close matches and blowouts. Obviously, I, I think Mallards versus Boston was uh, much closer than any of us expected. But overall, a great night. It'll be interesting to see how the brackets unfold tomorrow as well. So thank you all for watching and tuning in. And, you know, like I said, more matches tomorrow. So make sure to stop by back here tomorrow night. Thank you for all the follows, bits, and subs I may have missed. All of them are very much appreciated. I'm going to ban Oscar so he can stop spanning the fucking channel points. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah. Thank you, everybody. And I will catch you guys back here tomorrow night for some more SPL action as we play through these groups and decide our top four teams moving into pro for the start of our first season. Peace.